Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Monday, September 17th, 2018. The tarot card for today is the Ten of Swords. Wow, we have not seen this card in quite a while, which is normally we'd say a good thing, right? And it's been since May the 2nd, and I'm looking at everything that's going on and all the cards that we have here this week, and I see a theme that's really coming forward here. So I thought we would talk about energies for a couple of minutes, right? Because back on May the 2nd, we had Uranus, which at that time was finishing up a seven year stint in Aries. So imagine how you felt back at the beginning of May, all right? You know, the intensity of something as it gets to the end of a sign. I didn't switch till Taurus until May 15th. So whatever area of your life it was affected, something tells me that, you know, you've been thinking about this all along, all right? Because we have Uranus once again this week in the spotlight. It will be squaring Mars, which is still in shadow, but moving forward in Aquarius. Uranus is now in Taurus and retrograde, okay? And I know that all of you have spent, you know, several difficult months. It might not have started back at May the 2nd, but it was likely sometime within, you know, four to six weeks from there that you started feeling things coming in that you've been trying to deal with over these past few months. And very often when we see this card, uh, the things that it represents are, you know, betrayal and stress and all of those. But it also has a flip side. And the flip side is recovery, where you see the dawn breaking and, you know, that person who's like face down in the dirt, you know, because it's like having bottomed out, right? And there's nowhere to go but up. And the light begins to break, the dawn comes in, and you can get up and you can walk away from it all. This is a card of recovery. And Uranus is that you know, like, like that need to break out. So I know you've been feeling it, whatever's going on. And it seems like it's sin been since the beginning of September, like after the third or so when, um, you know, Mercury had left shadow and then you saw Saturn go direct and it's like, come on, come on, you know, I want to get going. I want to make things happy. There, there's a theme here this week of I, I want to say major discontent and it's not that you're unhappy it's just that you're tired of the same old same old and I don't want to get to myself you know get ahead of myself but there is this need to break out and tomorrow you know this square will be happening but it's being felt today and I want to make you aware of that because however you're feeling it however you're you know that or, you know, like I got to get up, I got to go do something, I got to make things happen, I need to change my life, whatever impetus it is that the universe is providing to get you going. As you see the cards come out this week, watch it play out, because I do indeed think that this may be a process for you, but that you will be able to move forward you know, before, you know, within these next seven days. What I do want to caution with, with the Mars factor and the spontaneity of Uranus and things that crop up is to just simply think before you speak and before you open your mouth, all right? That may not have absolutely anything to do with this card per se, but it definitely if something is done in a hasty manner, it can certainly contribute to your stress in the long run and make this card make perfect sense. But use, utilize it today as a form of recovery where you say, okay, I've had enough of all this. It's time to get up. It's time to get going. It's time to figure this out. So you may not figure it all out in a day, but you're ready to overcome and I, I don't want to say surrender because I don't feel like it's surrender. I feel like it's getting moving and walking away from the stressful situations. And that may be part of what 
today, this week, is about is finding a way to make these things happen in order to lead a more carefree life. So I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.